Nigeria made the decision to keep its benchmark rate at 13.5%. The central bank aims to avoid putting further pressure on the local unit after devaluing the exchange rates used by foreign bond and stock investors, which has largely pegged since 2017 by about 4% to 330 naira per dollar. To get an insight on the state of the currency valuation, we are now joined by Wale Olusi, the head of research at United Capital. Good day, Wale. Good day. Thank you for joining us on the news. Now, kindly give Thanks us an insight. Kindly give us an insight on the activities of uh, the markets. Well, um, what we've seen so far um, this week, that's yesterday and uh, today, is an uptrend in the market um, following, you know, the implementation of OPEC um, supply cuts. Recall that OPEC, as well as some non-OPEC members, actually decided to take off close to 13 million barrels of um, crude oil off the markets last month. Um, and they agreed to, to implement that this month. Um, as expected, on the back of that, oil prices have rallied above $30. And we've also seen strong uptick in the Nigerian stock exchange market on the back of you know, the banking sector stocks such as GTB, Zenit, as well as big players such as um, um, Dangote Cement, as well as um, uh, uh, MTN, yeah. Um, what is the current state and strength of the Naira as of this mo moment? Well, what we've also seen is a situation whereby because the central bank of um, started selling um, Naira to, to BDCs. Um, the parallel market have also recovered significantly. Um, as at yesterday evening, we saw parallel market trades in Lagos uh, appreciating back to about 420, 415. Recall that that was uh, close to 450 last, last week. And, um, you know, with the increase in supply for, from central bank, um, it was expected that the spread between the parallel market rate and the official rate will close a bit. So at 4.15, um, we've, we've seen some recovery in the parallel market. In the official market, um, the rate is still doing about um, 3.86 Naira to a dollar at the I and E window segment. So that's what we are seeing at the moment. Now, um, information has gotten to us that the IMF has finally, you know, transferred the money to Nigeria through the CBN. How do you see this impacting on our reserves? So when you have an inflow of 3.4 billion uh, from the IMF into um, uh, Nigeria, what we typically happen is, is a situation whereby the CBN will take um, that fund convert it to Naira and hand it over, or credit the Naira equivalent into the government account, and then put the dollar um, equivalent in the external reserves. So you should expect about $3.4 billion jump in the reserve, which was um, something around $33, $32 billion last week. That should jump back to about $34, uh, $35 or $36 this week. So, we think that inflow is positive for external reserve. It is also positive for the ability of the central bank to meet dollar uh, demand in the market and provide some more liquidity in the Nigerian currency market. What are the rates for investors in the OMO market? What are we seeing? Again. Did you get that? How favorable yes, are interest? Really how favorable are interest rates? for investors in the OMO market? What are we seeing currently? Oh, okay. So for the OMO market, um, what we continue to see is a situation where Central Bank is still selling OMO at about 12 to 13%. But don't forget that only banks and um, FPIs can access OMO, not the typical investors like myself and you or um, domestic investors such as the pension fund or fund managers like United Capital PLC. So because of that, OMO market is still quite attractive, double digits. Uh, at some point at the peak of this crisis, 
it was um, tending towards um, 15 percent when FPIs were about to leave because of the panic uh, relating to the coronavirus. But I think things have improved a bit since then, um, and at the moment it's about 12 percent. I would say it's favorable to foreign foreign ex uh, portfolio investors, but for domestic investors who can access that market, I mean, I, I don't think there's anything they can do about the rates. All right, then, Wally Olusi, head of United, head of research at United Capital. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you for having me. Certainly. Now that's it on business news.